Okay, so in this video, we're going to be doing our pen distance testing using the Pilot G2 gel pen. So basically, we'll be writing with the same test pattern using the drawing robot, using a Pilot G2 Mini, 0 0.38, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and 1.0 millimeter gel pens. We'll get into this later. I had to do some retesting with that 0.38 millimeter, and we could discuss some of the, the flaws with how this testing is done or at least some of the limitation. We'll be using the same pattern. These are all brand new pens, never used before. This time we're measuring the distance the pen travels while writing, as opposed to how many pages it could do. So this should be a little bit more accurate of a test, theoretically. And we'll be using the same pen in the different sizes. So we could assess not just how long or what the distance the Pilot G2 could write, but how much of a difference you're getting if you're using the 0.38 millimeter, which we'd expect to write the most versus the 1.0 millimeter, which would probably write the least, it's putting the most ink down. And then what's the trade-off from going, say from 0.5 to 0.7 millimeter? If those two pens are the same price, how much more expensive is it to write with the larger pen? Again, it could be trivial, may not matter to you, but for sort of academic purposes, it'll be pretty interesting. These are the tested pens you could see the final result here. All the pens will essentially look like this. They are completely down to the very end. There may appear to be some ink left in there, but I tested them out and they are no longer writing. The amount left varies a little bit from one pen to the other, but they are definitely completely out of ink. And here is what that test pattern looks like. For example, here's one of the tests with the Pilot G2 0.38 millimeter, page two, and this was a 512 meter test. And basically what's happening is that drawing robot is going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, forward, up and down, up and down, up and up and down. Combined total distance of all that is 512 meters. I have another test pattern, which is about 250 meters which is easier on the paper and obviously doesn't take quite as long. There are some issues here, especially with the smaller pens. There is some ripping in the paper that I'm trying to resolve with the testing methodology, but there are definitely some limitations there, but I'm working through it and we're gonna to try to get some good results in. So ahead of reviewing the results, I wanted to spend a minute or two checking out the actual tests that were conducted. Basically, I got each of the pens, I put it in the drawing robot, and, and the drawing robot printed out a grid pattern like this. So here you see the Pilot G2, 0.5 millimeter. Uh, this is page six, and this was a 232 meter test pattern. We have really nice fidelity of the lines. Clearly, there's some imperfections here, and that is where the pen skipped, either because of a problem with the pen or it could have been that piece of paper was a little bit oily. I don't think it was the paper. I've been trying to keep this pretty clean and we do see some, obviously the pen is gonna have some imperfections now and then. I'm not making a big deal out of these imperfections, but that would be an interesting test in and of itself. Some of these pens skip more than others. This, while it's not a real life test, was that as you write, the pen is moving in many different directions. Here's going in the same direction for a long time. So you'd expect to see more problems here as that sort of ball dries out. But anyway, number of imperfections per meter would definitely be an interesting test. I would just note that you see really nice separation between the lines and again, good fidelity. Some lines are a little heavier than others. Here's another test pattern with that 0.5 millimeter. This is, would be same thing, 232 meter, page five. I leaned on the 232 meter test instead of the 500 meter test because it doesn't require as much double coverage of pieces of the paper. The more you write on the same section of paper with the ink, the weaker the paper gets, especially if it's you're writing over it when it's wet and you have a small tip, like a 0.3 millimeter, it can cause tearing in the paper, which throws off the test because the absorption rate of the underlying material is higher than that of the paper. So even though the test continues to run, the results are no longer accurate. So you could lose easily a few hours if the paper rips mid-test. Here's the 0.38 millimeter black page four. You can see the finer lines, clearly more separation 
between the lines. You're probably seeing some like problems with the the grid and how it reacts with the camera. Try to fix that. Fewer imperfections. This was a, a slightly newer pen. This is only page four. More separation between the lines. That 0.3 millimeter ball doesn't carry a ton of ink, so it can't really keep the consistency quite as well as a wider pen. Here is the G2 1.0 millimeter page two, so relatively new pen, in the 512 meter. You can see it's much, much heavier coverage and there's a lot more ink getting put down. Again, more pieces of the paper are being covered multiple passes with the 512 meter. And then over here, you can see the ink kind of pools and pools and pools on the way down and it turns on the way up. So these areas is where the ink pooled and it created very heavy coverage. If you do too many of those, you can see the paper is getting weaker and weaker and weaker, and eventually the paper can rip. I didn't have any rips with the, the 1.0 millimeter or the 0.7, but the smaller sizes definitely had some tears. Here you can see the difference between the G2 1.0 millimeter page two. At this point, the, the pen is relatively new, and now you move over here is the G2 page three in that 1.0 millimeter. You can see at this point, it got through basically half the page, relatively light, but still working. And then it was, it does the vertical first and then the horizontal. It ran out right here, maybe 10% of the way through. So this actually reveals a bit of an issue with the testing. Basically it doesn't know when it runs out of ink. So the vertical portion, it kept doing the horizontal. Right around here, it ran out of ink, but you could probably see the faint lines going on. So the robot continues to write. It has no awareness that the ink has run out. So right around here, it ran out, but it ran for the full pattern. So the full 232 meters. So we have to do an approximation, say it ran out here. This is say 60% of way through this test pattern. So that's, you know, 180 meters or whatever. That's how we'll be addressing this. Again, the, the, the robot just is moving around. It has no awareness of what's happening with the pen, that the pen is out of ink. The, the robot could just as well be using a cutting head, like a little ceramic blade. It could be using a little laser. It doesn't matter to the bot. It, it's just moving kind of the way a CNC would move. Here's that fresh 1.0 millimeter. You can see this is about as much ink as you could put down. And it still has really nice separation here, really good fidelity. The main issue here is that the pooling at the edges, but it's really not that bad. Here we see that G2 Mini. This thing ran out really quickly just because that refill is so small. This one had a lot more pooling up here. As the ink goes down in the refill, I think the flow of that ink is less consistent. So you're seeing pooling here mid-page, even over here, over here. That's so mid-page pooling. Whereas with the new pens, you don't see any mid-page pooling here. It's restricted to the ends here. It's hard to isolate whether these tests are perfectly reflective of all G2 minis or just this specific one I had. Ideally, we'd be doing this test multiple times with the same refill, but that is very time consuming and just not possible right now. So here's the Pilot G2 0.7 millimeter page two in a 512 meter test. We see some imperfection here mid page. So again, maybe that's a problem, uh, like an inherent design flaw with the G2. Maybe it's a problem with the paper. It's just a little bit too smooth or not absorbent enough. It's really hard to say. You know, you could say this will throw off the writing test. You could say it wouldn't. There's always going to be some variables and some imperfections in the test procedure. And we'll just try to keep those consistent as possible. Here's another procedural problem or testing issue that I'm trying to figure out. This is the page nine of the 0.5 millimeter G2. At what point would you say this pen was done writing? You know, Clearly the vertical lines are pretty good and, and they're all fully visible and there's not really any degradation from start to finish. Now with the horizontal lines, and again, this is turned 90 degrees from how the bot would work. You see it's good fidelity going down, 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 starting here, good fidelity. Right around here, I would say the pen died, but there's a little bit of fuzziness because you could see any gel pen or most pens will have a period of kind of like where it doesn't write. Then it'll come back for a few minutes. We know about this from our day-to-day -day use of pens. At what point would you say this pen was done? Was it here? Was it here? It's really hard to say. So I'm just trying to be approximate and at least be consistent across the board in the testing. Once I see a break, so right here, I'll use that marker to indicate the pen 
is dead. And then just for comparison purposes, here we have page seven of that G2.5 millimeter. Here is page nine. You can see it is pretty consistent from seven to nine in that it, that's just kind of what the pen looks like. It's not that dark on this paper. Here we could see clearly it's a lot lighter and the pen is no longer writing, at least for half of this. So seven, dead. So here's a quick example of where the paper failed. Basically, you're doing 512 meter pattern. So there's a lot of passes over the same piece of paper. And at some point, that narrow tip, in this case, it's the 0.5 millimeter, will catch. Sometimes it's just because the paper is raised a little bit. Sometimes it's because the paper wears out. And you can see right here, it sort of collects and it pulls the paper, the paper rips, then the bot keeps going, it has no awareness of the quality of the paper, and it sort of just rips up the paper and starts writing on the underlying material, and you can see it keeps writing, it's kind of going crazy, and the test at that point is ruined, even though this, this test was page three, so relatively early on. At that point, you have to restart. Okay, so the Pilot G2 0.38 millimeter, it failed earlier than I would have expected based on the pen sizes around it. So I'm gonna retest it to see if it makes any difference. I have a new pack of 0.3 millimeter G2s and I'll see if the numbers with this one are in line with the one before. You know, obviously not every pen is gonna write the exact same amount. Statistically, some of them will be like aberrations, writing longer than you expected or shorter than you expected. Typically, we're concerned with ones that are gonna to write too short and they're gonna fail prematurely and throw off our numbers. Since we're not doing batches of testing, it would just take too long, we're gonna to have to retest that 0.38. I'm moving over to a black, which is easier to find, and we'll be able to distinguish the old test from the new test. Okay, so after dozens of hours of testing, I have a good idea of how long a Pilot G2 gel pen will last. Uh, here are some of the example pens I used. You'll see there's multiples here. I had to use multiple batches of 0.5. In my head, it was the most important size, which is the most common size, but I also wanted to buy different batches of pens, so, so different packages of pens, just to make sure that a common package didn't have any sort of particular flaw. As a side note, I would have loved to purchase just refills, but it turns out the refills alone are more expensive than the pens themselves which is incredibly annoying and, and just strikes me as being wasteful, but also the refills are much harder to find. So I did this batch with pens, subsequent batches, I'll probably just go ahead and get the refills. Okay, so what did we learn from all that testing? We see a pretty nice curve here from the mini, which has a short refill and 0.7 millimeter writing tip to the G2 1.0 millimeter. This has a obviously a wider writing tip and puts on more ink, but it has a much larger refill, so it lasts a little bit longer. Then the 0.7, pretty much in line with where we'd expected. Then we have the 0.5 is where things started getting a little bit tricky. Was basically, you'll see this 0.5 here, this lines up really nicely with our expectations, but these are 0.5s as well, and I tested out four or five 0.5s in total, and these things take, take a long time. Basically, I had 1.5, which is just an aberration. I'm pretty sure I messed up. Then I have these 3.5s, which I included in the testing. And we have purple in line, 0.5 in green, which is a little bit high. And then we have the black, which was a little bit low. This one, I think the pen just had a flaw or the refill had a flaw. So it just died prematurely. Green and purple probably were more in line with expectations, but these three might form just a general band of where your pen is going to die. You know, somewhere between 1,500 meters and 2,000 meters. It might be like, oh, wow, that died prematurely. It looks like there's a lot of ink left in the pen. Or it might be like you got to the very end. And let's see, here we have the, the green. Definitely some ink left. But if you go ahead and try to write with it, you get a little bit. You get a little bit, but then it dies, right? So it's definitely out of ink. Here's a 0.5 in blue. Looks like a similar amount. Uh, that one's clearly out of ink, right? So why did one stop writing when the other one kept writing? It's really hard to tell. The green does seem like it has a little bit more ink left in there. 
And lastly, let's look at the purple. Roughly similar. And that one's totally dry. So it's hard to squeeze all the ink out of a gel pen. I think that's the lesson. And when we say how long a pen lasts, it's probably going to be somewhere in a, a, like a band where like you'd expect it to hit, say, 1,750 meters, but it could last 2,000. It might last 1,500. Lastly, we had the G2 in 0.38 millimeter. This one I tested a few times. At this point, the pens are lasting a very long time, so the testing takes forever. One of them lasted close to 2,500 meters, so like 2,350, I think it was, and the other one lasted about 2,000, which is a little bit short since it's putting it close to that 0.5 millimeter. And again, the difference in the writing tip here isn't giant, 0.12 millimeter, so very small. So it wouldn't be shocking for them to be similar, but again, you, you are expecting a somewhat of a curve here. You'd have to test a lot more pens to get this data more and more accurate. But I would say somewhere in this band right here would be roughly where I'd expect it to be. Again, allowing for some aberrations here and there. At the end of the day, that is how long a Pilot G2 lasts in each of the sizes. I hope this uh, information is interesting for everyone. I will put up the chart at the end of the video so you can check that out. And then I will do more videos so you can compare this to other pens. That I think is where this will get a whole lot more interesting. Not just that a Pilot G2 may last, you know, 2000 meters in 0.5 or may last 2200 meters in 0.5. That's academically interesting, but hard to make much use of in and of itself. As we compare these to other pens, that's when things will get a whole lot more interesting. For now, I'll be focusing on pens that are sold in many different sizes. So the G2 obviously is sold in, you know, the four sizes. 0 0.38, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, one that own, and technically the mini, so you can call it five if you want. And other pens do something similar. Think like a uh, Uni Vision that is also sold in at least four sizes. That is it for testing the G2. Thanks for watching.